Mike Kavanaugh with HIV Hero and HeroNews.org, and I'm here with Courtney at the Love is Louder campaign, this amazing storefront that's happening at the Paramount Hotel. Can you tell me how this all happened? Sure. So uh, Love is Louder is a movement that we started at 2010 with the Jed Foundation, and uh, we've been an online movement. We're in schools and communities, and we got this opportunity to come to the Paramount Hotel for six weeks to have a store. People can take photos here. We're selling Love is Louder merchandise to fund the movement. There's a gallery of pictures we've gotten from supporters and, and followers all over the world, uh, and really learn how they can be part of the, the movement and bring Love is Louder to their towns and communities. And how did this haul come about? The Love is Louder campaign. The Love is Louder movement. So I've been working with the Jed Foundation for, for many years. The Jed Foundation is a nonprofit focused on emotional health and suicide prevention among teenagers and young people. Um, and through that work, we developed Love is Louder as a way to help teenagers and young adults, schools and communities deal with issues like bullying, self-esteem, body image, illness, anything that makes people feel separate, different, mistreated, Love is Louder works to make them feel connected, included, and supported, and reminds people to really focus on the positive and take the actions they need to to feel better and, and to seek the help they need. It's amazing. You know, the Jed Foundation is an awesome organization. They're a nonprofit. JedFoundation.org. Please go on the web right now. Make a huge donation. Remember, your tax return huge. came in. Huge. I'm, I'm talking not, not $20, $100, $50. $1,500, right? Yeah, like 5000 Great. Right, right. So tell me, what else do you think is important to know about you know, prevention of suicide? How do we reach these kids? Well, I mean, I think the important thing to realize is I think sometimes people talk about suicide like it's this random, isolated incident that happens sometimes. You know, we all have an emotional health. We all have ups and downs, and when we don't take care of our emotional health, when we're dealing with things like depression, when we're dealing with tough situations in life, there's lots of things that can happen over time if we don't take care of ourselves. Substance abuse, um, self-injury and self-harm, and suicide is one of those things. And so what we really need to do to prevent all of these things is to give people the skills that they need to cope, to be resilient, but also to seek help for whatever they're dealing with before they're struggling at that point. Um, so I think it's really important to realize that suicide prevention isn't just about people who are feeling suicidal. It's about giving all of ourselves the support network we need before we get to that point. You know, I want to say this. I think we've all thought about suicide at one point or the another. It's, it's a normal thing. We get depressed. But there's help out there. You can go to the Jed Foundation, find out information. You can go to other sources. You can talk to your counselors. You can talk to friends. But please... Don't take action. Get help before that. And like I said, JedFoundation.org has all kinds of resources for you. So please check it out. Thank you so and much. Should we tell people how to come here? Yes. Okay. So we're here till July 31st. We're at the Paramount Hotel at 235 West 46th Street. We're open every day from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., sometimes later. Sometimes we just don't close. Um, so come by and see us, loveisladder.com, for more information. Okay, this is great. We're going to have a bunch of events here, so yes. if you can go to the JetFoundation.org, you can find out what's happening, or loveislouder.com, right? Correct. Right. Yes. All right. Thank Check you. out what's going on. This is amazing. Come buy a bracelet. Come buy a T-shirt. Come buy something amazing, because it's all fantastic. I'm buying everything in here. Yes. I'm with my friend John, who's the executive director of the Jet Foundation. How are you? Very well, Mike. Tell me why this is so exciting for you, this storefront at the Paramount Hotel. Well, it's, it's just so exciting to see uh, this storefront for Love is Louder, which is a, an embodiment of, of our work, uh, which is all about uh, promoting emotional health and preventing suicide among young people. And so to see this, to see this storefront and, and people coming in and, and learning, about, uh, learning about these issues and, uh, and what we can all do to, to feel better and to take care of ourselves uh, from an emotional health perspective is, is great, very rewarding. You know, there's a lot of things going on right now in the world today, like I didn't have cyberbullying, things like that, yes. cell phone bullying. I mean, I just, you know, so I understand how important it is for organizations like you to reach out. How are you reaching out? Well, first, to the point that you make, I mean, it, it's a, it, it can be a tough world today, and it's a different world in terms of what young people are, are dealing with, the pressures and the stresses and what it means to be in a, in a world of social media um, and connectedness uh, that's, that's very different than a, a generation ago, very different than eight years ago. Um, and so what we're doing is we work with schools, we work with colleges and universities and high schools 
uh, to help them best support the emotional and mental health of their students. And then we reach out directly uh, to young people to let them know that if they're struggling uh, with emotional distress, if they're struggling with any issue related to depression, anxiety, eating disorders, uh, just you know, not feeling comfortable, feeling isolated alone, that uh, those feelings are not uncommon. Many of us experience that, we, we feel that, and that uh, it's okay to speak up about it, and it's okay to reach out and to get help, and that help works. Uh, and that these are things that you can work through um, and, uh, and, and so the most important thing is to talk about it and to, and, uh, and to ask for support. I agree. support. I agree. You know, it's really interesting because there are now methods where people that don't even know you can criticize you. I mean, it's one thing if it's a friend is mean to you, but now there's this thing where people can go on your Facebook page, say things. These are people you don't know. They don't matter. So don't listen to them. Don't get depressed. You really need to, you know think that your life is worth anyone else's life and please please go to the Judd Foundation if you have any thoughts or any misgivings about what you're feeling about yourself because you are loved and you are worth it right that's right you're not alone not alone at all you're part of a community that loves you and unfortunately you know as you said there are um, there are these forums and, and, and the anonymity that they bring and some people who want to who want to criticize um, and it's important that we all we all remember uh, you know that we're we're, we're uh, part of a community that that does support and does love us and we've got to uh, shut those voices out and if we struggle with it you know what reach out you know, go to go to the friends and and the network that supports you and reach out. There are great resources. So there, uh, there's a the crisis text line, uh, which is uh, you can uh, access at seven four one seven four one text seven four one seven four one, and there's Lifeline, which is one eight hundred two seven three talk. These are great great resources to access. <laughs> great resources to access if you're if you're in crisis and you need help and you need someone to talk to and the folks both on the text line and the phone line um, are very uh, are, are versed in this and they know how to connect you to the resources that you need so listen again great resources here please go to www.jedfoundation.org find out about it make a donation if you're feeling anything it's an amazing resource they're partnering with us, HIVHero.org and HeroNews.org. They're on our homepage. There's a link there. Amazing. Congratulations on Love is Louder. And please come to the Paramount for the next six yeah, weeks. Please. Come buy some merchandise. See the events going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're, we'll let you know when something great is happening, okay? Perfect. I am with two of the program managers of Love is Louder. So what is your name? Alexa. What's your name? Gussie. Beautiful, beautiful girls. Tell me why this is so important to you, why you're here. Well, I started with the Jed Foundation um, maybe about uh, a year ago, and I actually lost a good friend to suicide when I, was a high um, when I was a senior in high school. So this has always been very important to me, and I've always been interested in getting into mental health. Um, so it's kind of a personal thing for me um, to raise awareness about mental health promotion and help seeking because... Um, one of the biggest problems is people um, feel shame and um, regret about having a mental illness and uh, you should not feel, one of, one of our biggest things, messages is you should not feel shame, you should not feel like you're lesser of a person uh, if you have a mental illness, so go out and get help and so that's really what I'm trying to do is trying to raise awareness about mental health and um, get people to um, get the help that they need and deserve. Um, yeah. How about you? Um, I've been at the Judd Foundation for almost three years now. Um, it's an amazing organization, and I got involved for similar reasons. I've, I've lost friends to suicide, seen friends in hospitals for eating disorders and, and drug addiction, and um, have dealt with anxiety and other things. And I think that everyone can relate to mental health. Everyone has an emotional health. and. What the Jed Foundation does is spread the message that we all need to be aware of our mental health and each other and take care of our friends. So, I think that's very well spoken. You're lovely ladies. Let me say one more thing. Listen, no one is better than you. 
No one on this earth is better than anybody out there. Own your freak. Be it. Be it.